Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to some more Mad Prediction. Right now, this is going to be for the Thursday night, I believe the beginning of Week 10, the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Cleveland Browns. Damn, <clears throat> I hate to do this because they're both in my division, but uh, I, I was going to go for the upset and go for the... <clears throat> Go for the Cleveland Browns, but I was like, nah, let me just try to get back on top. I've been fucking up really bad picking picks lately, man. I'm like, this year, if I was keeping track, like, uh, out of all my picks, man, I'm probably like three games under 500. If I was keeping track of how many picks I was doing, I was wrong. But, uh, like I said, all star when I picked Detroit to lose against the Saints, and my picks have been horrible ever since. But other than that, with that being said, uh, as you know, this is a division rivalry game. Anything can happen in the division game. I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if Porter, uh, Boyle come out there and throw three, four touchdowns and somehow make an upset over the Cincinnati Bengals. But I honestly just want to go with the Browns just for the upset and just because I was a little bit bitter about the, uh, about the Cincinnati Bengals beating my Ravens in the last, like, 20 seconds of the game. But, you know, but like I said, anything can happen in the division game. We know each other so well. They know us. We know them. Just like right now, the Cleveland Browns and Cincinnati played each other countless times. But they know each other. But to me, when it all comes down to it, it comes down to the Cincinnati uh, offense. I think, the, other than the fact they have a good defense, I think the offense has too many weapons. Like, they're a miniature size, younger coach right now. They got a great young quarterback as a goal, staying in the pocket, delivering bombs all day. But they have AJ Green back and a snoop. Which that could do anything, and then you got Bernard in the backfield, you know, kicking ass like that. And they run the game is pretty good, it's not the clock, and after they get a good lead, clock up and pull it down. But <clears throat> at any given time, uh, Green can break for a fantastic play and just shit them out. And I really don't think the Cleveland Brown defense, which to me is unheard of, you know, I don't really know anybody on Cleveland Brown defense what they can do. So I think uh, Andy Dalton can have a three touchdown pass that he really kick at. As far as the score wise, I really don't like to take the high scores a lot too much. I like to keep it simple, like 21, 27. But the way the NFL is made, it's made to score big touchdowns. So I guarantee you this game could be something like I'm about to do now. I see it like 33, 33, uh, I'll go 33, 14. I see Cincinnati uh, Browns getting into the end zone. But I don't see them going too much against the defense. I see the, uh, uh, the Bengals doing a lot of blitzing to keep the young quarterback off his toes. But I just see it's too much Cincinnati defense at the end of the game. And the high-powered offense of Cincinnati Bengals is like easily a top five, top easily top five offense. They, they got the skills to pay the bills, if you ask me. But anyway, with that being said, you know, a little bit better because they beat my Ravens, but I can't be too bitter. Cincinnati over the Browns. Hope you guys love it. Please subscribe to my channel. Make my channel grow. I love you guys so much. Thanks for all the appreciation love. Goodbye.